Yep. There to go. Right at 7.02 a.m. Oh, we got up at 3 this morning. The boats emerge from the darkness. Engines roaring to life on the Rappahannock, charging 40 minutes upriver to what commercial fishermen call the public rock to harvest wild oysters. The rules are very strict. You're not allowed to leave the dock until a half hour before sunrise, which is why all of the oystermen are now racing to get to the public rock. Scott Weibel and his fellow watermen invited the News 4i team to witness what they say is a huge problem in their industry. They say all of the oystermen in the state are forced to work in the same spot. More than 90 boats this day hand scraping for oysters. You got boats from all over Virginia here right now. Like all of the captains out here, Weibel steers his skiff in tight circles called licks while simultaneously helping his crew haul in the 175 pound dredge and discarding all the oysters less than three inches. These are some of the best navigators on the water, but they say they're packed in so tightly they often get tangled up and even collide. There's no reason why we cannot be more spread out the bay is loaded with oysters. Lisa Carol Rose is the fifth generation in her family to work this water. She's also the executive director of Watermen of Virginia Engaged, a new group of commercial fishermen who say the state is creating a dangerous situation, forcing them to harvest from just one or two public rocks during prime oyster season. Open up more turf, that way you're not depleting a rock all at one time. There can be quite a few boats out there and, and it can get Really, some really tight space. First Sergeant Herbert Bell is in charge of patrolling the water for the Virginia Marine Resources Commission, which tells the I team the state actually opens thousands of acres along the stretch of the Rappahannock in November. But the commission says the watermen all choose to cluster in this spot because this is where the state drops oyster shells, which help baby oysters take root. The commission gets $2 million a year for the program. Only enough, it says, to spread shell over just 500 acres out of the 240,000 it maintains. Look at all them babies. It takes two to three years for babies to grow big enough to keep, which is why about a decade ago, the commission began rotating where watermen can harvest each year. They do rotation areas to, you know, kind of move the boats around to, to not have everything open at one time. The commission says rotation is why oystermen have gone from pulling in about 20,000 bushels a decade ago to more than 650,000 this year. They do a good job with the rotation because it gives the oysters a chance to grow bigger, but when they open the areas, they don't open enough areas at once. Weibel says he and his crew drive four hours round trip every day from their home on the eastern shore. If they had an area over there open right now, we wouldn't be over here right now. It would be a much less dangerous situation. The commission agrees there are too many oystermen on the water. It just voted to stop issuing new licenses, hoping to knock the number down by a third as older watermen retire. Because it really is backbreaking work to pull in the limit of 24 bushels at $45 a basket, they will split their $1,000 paycheck before driving another two hours home so they can turn around and race back out there again tomorrow. In Weems, Virginia, Tisha Thompson, News 4i Team.